and welcome back guys to more near replicant we are going to investigate the wrecked ship in the inlet of in seafront that's what reads that's that that's reading english let's do this emil and kine are here which is weird what's going on i haven't seen you two come into seafront in well ever i guess sorry for the surprise kine said she sent something strange in the area Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. Let's go. I've already seen it. It is really cool though. I was not expecting this at all. The beached shipwreck. I have to burp. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. Let's make sure we're ready first. I want to save... Uh, mostly because... Um, if I'm in here for a minute, I would like to be able to... In case something bad happens... That's fine. That's okay. I already have enough healing stuff. And I think I'm considered over leveled now. Are you kidding? The save point's all the way over here, isn't it? It's by the postman's thing. That's fine. <sighs> this kind of land they have save points all the way at the end, though. Yeah, buddy. Let's do this. Time to go to the shipwreck and hopefully fight some stuff. Let's go, guys. It's time to enter the shipwreck. I really like how Grimoire does like cool tricks and stuff. Yes. Let's do this. This is going to get real. Oh boy. Oh no. What? This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. Oh, boy. Well, this place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. We require a key in order to proceed. Let us fumble about and see if we cannot find one. Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. Cool. So now when we get to a dark area, we can see. What the fuck? Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. If that's her. Alright, cool. Hmm? There's no one here. Oh, oh no, there's ghosts! 
like we just saw a ghost. <laughs> what foolishness. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. Sure. Sure, Vice. Hold key. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. You can't really destroy anything. Uh, I'm just gonna have to continue. Let's go through the hold. Maybe it'll open it up a little bit so we're no longer in this mode. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? Probably a good idea. What's this? What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Oh, goodness, what a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Why? Why? I'm just gonna start eating apples. What was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. Might as well go up. Oh, this is nice. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. It's footsteps. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Head in here first. Never know what we're gonna find. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. Wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? Well... Who knows? Let's find out. See that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on, I think I can move these. What? Shelves can no longer be moved. It appears to be caught in a crack in the floor. It would not do to have the ground beneath our feet come undone, so let's give up on pushing the thing. Go this way, though. One thousand gold, not bad. Is that another logbook? Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. By my pages! This ship was used by slavers. How uh, simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. Give it a nudge. Yeah! A hidden room. How delightful. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps. Is this a pirate ship? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Oh! Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. 
Ooh. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. Bow chicka wow wow. What's this? Is it a key? Passageway key, I knew it. There don't seem to be any shades around at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. Now, honestly. Be nice to hurry this up. This is very interesting though. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. We'll go in there in a second. Would it not be wise to explore the rooms on the floor above us? There might be stuff in here. Come on. Oh, damn. The hell is this smell? Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Okay. Should we not be heading farther in? Shut the fuck up, Vice. You keep telling me, shouldn't you investigate this? Shouldn't you investigate that? What are you doing? Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. So we get a map. You don't have any maps for this area, you bastard. All right, so it was cool that I came in here before I did anything else. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah, and the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? <sighs> Doors warped and unusable. It seems this door will not open. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, this one well. A kitchen, is it? Meta this not times three, I, I don't need that. Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> To be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, a little bit. That's why cruises are bullshit. No, I love cruises. I've never been on one. I want to be on one, though. So if anybody could uh, start watching my videos so I can get enough money to where I can go on a cruise. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What's this? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Something tells me he gonna be dead. Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Ah, fuck. And Lantern's out. Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. What is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. I can't make out what that is, but that that does not look good. Hmm? Is that... Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh, this is gonna be some House of Horror shit. Oh, there's a lot of blood, and they're dead. Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And I fear the missing ferryman. Oh no. Oh 
No. Oh. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. Oh, is the old lady gonna be in here? That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. I feel so bad for him, though. He didn't deserve to go out like that. His poor wife. Hey. Hey there, you two. Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kane? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... That's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. First, let's go in this room. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. Wish it would show me. Okay. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> yeah. That, that kind of makes me sad, though. I really liked the ferryman as a character. He was really funny. You know, I really enjoyed that banter with him and his wife. As much as I knocked it. Hey, look! Save point. Let's do this. This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. Yes. This is reminding me a little bit of <laughs> Resident Evil 7. Shame they never made a Resident Evil 6. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but... Uh, well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? What? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a the line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her. She isn't. <laughs> Kind of, Emil. We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. Son of a bitch. 
The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. Shades! Damn, they're in the way. What the fuck? Is she like a Kraken? It looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Oh, this is not good. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh, they're up here too. This is where the fight's gonna be, I'm assuming. Wait, hold on. I'll sell, that works. You guys good? Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. I, 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 I'm pretty sure he's dead. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. <laughs> what on earth? What the fuck? It's like a ugly ass Marlboro. Why isn't this shade being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once. I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant. Holy shit. We are doing a lot of damage. I actually want to go to Grimoire. Recovery. Strength drop. Just 30 seconds. With faces yeah! Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. We're gonna have tentacles come out. Pay for what it did to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. You think they're seeing the shit? It here and now. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Got him. <laughs> Did we get it? Things huge. Bro, it's like a Hydra. The thing it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes. Dodge! Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. So whenever he does that... What the fuck is he doing now? Oh, fuck. Is it turning its body into spears and shooting them at us? I can't believe it. 
believe such a huge shade even exists. I do not like this. Oh my god. He's healing! You bastard! That thing ain't normal, so stay smart unless you want to get dead. Hold the phone. <sighs> this thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. Oof. Uh, more vice, recovery, strength capsule, defense drops, case. He's halfway. I'm gonna do that fucking crazy attack. What the fuck is this? The number of spears flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn. It looks like they won't come over here. My word, if this continues. Yep, this. Over where? This guy's important to you, isn't he? Immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! Hold on. Recovery. I don't have anything for that. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you bastard! Fuck! Shit. Stop, no! Doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. Summoning the last of your magic power, you can now press L1 to fire dark, dark plant. We can never be together! You disgust me!
I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side in the next episode. That was amazing. Holy shit. What a fight. Wow. See you guys then.